Anglican Archbishop Thabo Makhobas used his Easter sermon to lament corruption during the COVID-19 pandemic. He says those who have stolen money have denied the poor the means of coping with the pandemic. Makhobas was speaking during the Easter Evangel at St. George's Cathedral in Cape Town. The stresses created by the pandemic have sadly sometimes brought out the worst in us. There are those who have stolen from the common purse, who have plumbed the depths of the scandalous corruption in our society, who have stolen the very breath of those struggling to breathe in intensive care units. They have denied others, especially the poor, the means to cope with the effects of the pandemic. Their behavior is all the more sad when we think back of how we had hoped that by throwing us together to face the, a common crisis, the pandemic would make us rise to the occasion by creating a different future. Across the world, we spoke of different economic models, of systemic ways of caring, of respectful relationships, and honoring difference. But with time, we seem to have slipped into a business as usual approach where the few benefit and many suffer. We stand accused of missing the moment and condemning our sisters and brothers and the earth which nurtures us to relentless injustice and human wrong. In our own country, we see again how our democracy is tested how constitutionalism stands at a crossroads and how too many with power abuse it to their own selfish ends. Makhov is also skeptical about how quickly the vaccine rollout will progress in the country. He's called for the poor and the marginalized to be inoculated. View of the fragility of some of our health infrastructure the president will understand if I am skeptical of how quickly the rollout pro will progress. Those covered by private health industry and on medical aid can feel more confident. But I am worried that, as is often the case, it is the poor and the marginalized who will suffer. We know very well that there are large areas of our countries where political corruption has poisoned public health care systems. We know that political leadership has been woefully lacking in the worst areas affected. And I want to say from this pulpit, shame on those who have left hospitals and clinics short of people, equipment, and protection. I have read that on the current strategy, it will take 18 years to vaccinate our entire present population. We cannot allow that to happen.